Hi, my name is Luke Roberts. We're here with the Vario European Test Centre at Alpe d'Huez, France for the 2009 Mega Avalanche. The Mega Avalanche in Alpe d'Huez starts uh, very high because it's on a glacier called Pic Blanc. It's at 3,300 metres and they start on the snow. This year, almost 2,000 riders it's a massive start and uh, it's for amateurs and professionals. Every year we have more and more people. They want to know how do you feel when you start uh, with uh, 400 people in the same time. Holy shit. We're here at the race to get some feedback from POV users. Oh. Hi, my name's Callum Swift. I'm a filmmaker concentrating mainly on downhill mountain bike films. And last year I used the POV1 extensively for my film, The Uprising. It integrated really well with my, uh, with my footage from my Canon and big camera. And uh, you can barely notice the difference on the, on the big screen. And this, I'm using it this year with an HD project and it integrates really well with that as well. And a few things I really like about the system is it's, it's ease of use, it's completely waterproof and shockproof. So I wasn't worried using it on, uh, on rainy days with the downhill riders who crash quite a lot. And uh, it's all wireless so you can have it all ready in the bag at a race and just start it on the start line. For me the best thing about the POV system is uh, the mountings that come with it and the large variety of things you can use. Because I used uh, handlebar mounts pointing backwards at the rider, helmet mounts pointing forwards, pointing backwards, um, all sorts of different options which give different views on the bike itself looking at the, the wheel and it gives a large variety of creative control over, over the project. Another great benefit is having the screen there so you can set the camera up and then instantly check whether the alignment's right or not and whether you're pointing in where you want to be pointing um, and that's just really handy so you don't waste, uh, waste filming opportunities by having it aligned wrong. Um, having such an excellent battery life and uh, large capacity is brilliant because uh, you can just run it for a whole day or a whole weekend even and not have to worry about changing anything um, which means you can just feel free to, to do the filming rather than, than faffing with the, uh, with the setup. I find with a lot of helmet cams out there, uh, they're quite obtrusive and uh, they stick out far from the helmet and the, the rider really notices that they've got it on. Um, whereas with the POV system, it's so streamlined and, and cool looking that it just straps onto the helmet and the, the rider doesn't even know it's there. So we get some fantastic footage in, in a race run environment and that's no problem for him, which is the main thing. Um, I was impressed um, Yeah, with the ease of use. Uh, it's pretty tough. Uh, I did drop it <laughs> and uh, yeah, it survived that. Uh, we've been hammering around on mountain bikes all day and it's yeah it's cope with that yeah i was just looking at using it for a number of different sports and then if it survives a day in these mountains biking it should manage most of the other sports i'm aiming to try it's kind of a hobby of mine is, is filming and um, i do basically windsurfing kayaking and biking are kind of my main sports and um, I've, I've been looking for a you know a head cam of sorts for some time now and i haven't come across one of this image quality yet um, that's also got long battery life and, and sort of can take a lot of footage as well. So, you know, with the H2O bag, waterproof bag, and um, the kit as tough as it is, I can pretty much use it, use it wherever now. So, that's why it's made it worth it for me, really, because I can use it across to all sorts of different spheres. So, and I'm in the military as well, and so we're, we're hoping to use that, use it there, just from a fun point of view for me. But it is, it'll survive the desert and the Arctic and the other random places we go to. So, yeah, should, I'm pretty impressed so far. Quality is unbelievable. So before that, we worked with uh, very cheap cameras on the helmet, and uh, it was the first time today I saw you, and uh, I, I had a little bit of confidence in you. So I bought it, and it's unbelievable. So the images are very sharp. The light is very good. You can see everything. The moment is very easy because with other things we really had to make everything with duct tape, etc. Here you have a Velcro. You stick it on. It isn't in the way, you can use it with your goggles, uh, it's a very nice toy. That's 
started using the POV a lot last uh, winter as a ski instructor, I found it's really good for, for client feedback. And I've been using it uh, here at the Mega in Outdoors and I really like how tough the system is. My favourite mount is the goggle mount, nice and simple. <laughs> 